Reading glasses by 18. Some doctors believe it could be a reality closer than we think, and it's all due to something most of us use every day. News 13's Catherine Mazzone is in the Newsplex with more. Catherine. That's right, Adam. This and this are not only things that we use every day, but I'm betting that some people would say they're actually things that they can't live without. It's your phone, it's your computer, your tablet, screens that some people stare at for hours on end. It's why some doctors are warning of a generational shift. That is, teens or kids even having to use reading glasses at earlier and earlier ages. It's because of what's called eye convergence. It's the closer the screen is to our face, the more your eyes spasm and turn inward. Doctors say the longer your eyes stay that way, the more nearsighted you become by 20 to even 30%. Doctors suggest you give your eyes a break every now and then, taking time away from screens daily can do a lot for your vision health. You'll also want to keep your phone farther from your face, that, or be prepared to need reading glasses sooner, even if you have great vision. Now, something parents also want to keep in mind, screen exposure can be particularly harmful for kids under the age of seven while their eyes are developing. Now, a common myth, lowering the brightness on your screen helps. There's no proof of that, but the research to determine the effects of brightness on your eyes is still inconclusive. Back to you, Adam. Fascinating. Thanks so much, Catherine. And one more thing to keep in mind, repeatedly looking down at your smartphone or your tablet can cause what doctors call tech neck. It affects posture and can cause a permanent hunched over look. For kids, experts say for every inch their head leans forward, they feel 10 extra pounds of pressure on their neck and back, and that can cause headaches, even scoliosis. So something to watch for.